I've got something a bit more thoughtful today, um, Des. This is a piece I wrote because when we go to um, New Zealand, we like to play the theatre in Christchurch. And there's a dear little town near Christchurch called Akaroa. And there's a ship's cannon on the shore where my children used to love to play, my two boys, when they were small. And so when I go there now, I really sort of miss them. Uh-huh. See the town of Akaroa in a wide volcanic bay where from Christchurch in New Zealand people drive out for the day to eat in wooden cafes with their stripped and sanded floor and close beside the jetty there's a cannon on the shore. A cannon set by city fathers some forgotten day squats upon the grass and faces out across the bay. It's an interesting artefact, a piece of history, but the Akaroa cannon is significant to me. For I came here many years ago, I had two little sons, and they were most attracted to all weaponry and guns. They fell upon the cannon with excitement and delight, and imaginary cannonballs went flying through the night. Then I was their needed mother in the role I loved the best, and the fullness of fulfilment rose and sparkled in my chest. I put my arms around them in their innocence and youth, (coughs) and to keep them safe from harm, I would have died, and that's the truth. Well, now I'm back in Akaroa, and my little birds have flown. They're swimming in the cut and thrust, surviving on their own. At work in weary cities with a mortgage and a boss, and I'm standing by the cannon, and my heart is pierced with loss. Now the wind across the ocean is more cutting, cold and chill. Just a string of muffled tourists straggle on the boardwalk still. But my sons are on the barrel, lit up, laughing all the day, on the Akaroa cannon as I turn and walk away.